Hey everybody, I'm Jamie, and it's time for Chemistry Lab. Before we go in there, I want to run through a few things with you guys first. Before you go into lab, it's always smart to go online and look at the safety data sheets for all the chemicals and compounds used. That way you know how to handle them properly. Secondly, you always have to be wearing lab goggles or lab glasses while in the lab. This is done to prevent any spillage of chemicals into your eyes. Also, when you're in there, you always want to be wearing closed-toed shoes and pants. And finally, if you have any, if you want additional protection, you want to put on a lab apron or a lab coat. Before you go in there, you want to make sure you leave all of your food and drinks in the hallway with your backpack. Alrighty, so it's time to go in there. Let's go. Now that we're in the lab, you want to find your inventory checklist in your lab drawer. The inventory checklist is all the equipment and glassware that you'll be using throughout the semester. First, you'll open your lab drawer and make sure that everything is in there. If it's not, you'll find your TA and they'll help you find the remaining pieces. Next, your lab manual will tell you to find the safety features in each lab. In this particular lab, it's located in this corner. As you can see, there's a safety shower, an eye wash station, a fire blanket, a first aid, and a fire extinguisher. If you ever have any of these accidents, make sure to find a professor right away, and they will guide you on how to use any of the safety features. And remember, do not, be, do not hesitate to use these features. The bathroom can sometimes be too far away for emergencies. Lastly, if you arrive at the lab before the professor gets there, never start an experiment by yourself. And sometimes these labs require you to put in extra time, and you have to come in on the weekend. Do not work by yourself, and always bring a partner. So now that you've orientated to the lab, let's catch up with Carl. How are you doing today, Carl? Pretty good, Jake. How are you? Pretty great. Say, so, yeah, I have a question. This bottle is unlabeled. What should I do with it? If you find an unlabeled bottle in the lab, you should find your TA or lab professor, and they'll help you take care of it. Oh, that's easy enough. Oh, and also remember, you should always cap your bottles when putting them back on the desk. And also, try and put them far from the ledge so they cannot spill into the ground. Easy enough. So yeah, I have another problem. Uh, this joint seems to be stuck. What should I do? Well, the first step is to put balance pressure throughout the whole thing, and if it comes out, yay for you. But if not, you should find your TA or lab professor. They'll take care of it as well. Okay. It's pretty easy, too. Thanks, Jamie. No problem. There's a few tips that you can use. First, you should make sure that the sash is lowered as far as possible so that you can still work in there and then you can see through the glass. Also, you want to make sure that it is as uncluttered as possible and that you're trying to work in the center. That way you can maintain any and all spills that could potentially happen. And lastly, you want to try not to restrict the flow of air to the back of the hood. When you're done working it in the hood, you want to make sure that you lower the sash all the way down to the bottom and Carl will show you how to do that. Now that you're finished with the experiment, it's almost time to go home. Before you leave, you should make sure to take your waste and dispose of it in the appropriate hazardous waste container. If you have any question to which container to go into, find your TA or lab professor and they'll help you answer those questions. Once you're done disposing of your waste, you can go back to your lab bench and clean up any messes that you've caused there. Additionally, you should go to any balances and try to clean up anything that you may have left behind. And finally, if you rented something from the stock room, make sure that you rinse it out and clean it and turn it back to the end of the lab. Thank you for watching and enjoy your lab.